In the last week, I did a research about the disentanglement in NLP, which mainly focused on this paper. We know that in the disentanglement in image, we could embed different feature of an image into different space. But in NLP, we do not have so many features like uh, like gender and uh, the angle, the skin, color. One of the features it has is the style of the sentence, which is uh, the positive or negative, and the context of the sentence. In the limitation of the existing module, so the existing module, some of them are not doing the disentanglement between style and the context of the sentence, and some of them need to specify number of the, st the style it could have before training. The motivation of this module is to use the mutual information between the style of the sen the style and the content of the sentence. And this is the formula of mutual information and we can calculate in this way. And for the property of a mutual information, it has a lower bound like this, which is like a which we can treat it into as a formula. For the detail of this module, um, for the data set, we have the sentence as x, and the style of each sentence as y, and the encoder is what we want to train. We represent it like this. And the loss function of this method is like this. It has three items. The first one is the mutual information between style and the content. We want them as small as possible so we can do the disentanglement between style and the content the second item we have is the mutual information between c and x which is content and the input and we also have the style and the output of the sentence we want them as bigger as possible so the module will have a better performance will have a better accuracy of the output but there's a problem is that uh, we cannot calculate mutual information directly because it is intractable. So we use this method to have the lower bound of second and the third item of the loss. So it will become like this. And for data set, the entropy of x and entropy of y is uh, constant. So the upper bound of loss become this. And there's still one item which we not know yet. It's the mutual information between S and C. And because this is positive, so we cannot use the lower bound again. The contribution of this paper is that they define an upper bound of mutual information between S and C. So the upper bound is like this, and the RJ is calculated in this way. But there's a problem is that we do not know the close form of this item. So what we want to do is we train a network of this item and then we do the back propagation of IS and then we can have the uh, explicit result of ISC. We use four steps. The first one is we feed M sentence X into the encoder and after the encoder we get uh, M pairs of SJ and uh, CJ for each sentence. This is the output of the encoder. So we treat a network using the pair of embedding we have by maximizing the log likelihood function of this. So after we train the network, we get this item, we can calculate RJ and we can do the backpropagation because we all we already have all the mutual information item. So we can calculate all of this and then we can do the backpropagation of the input. And this is the module like architecture. I still remember we had three different items and this is encoder. We fit the X into the encoder and we have the S and the C embedding. For the first time item we just calculate, we are using this network to help us to get this, which push S away from C. And for the S and the C, and for S, we use a generate module to let us generate the style y, which we have this y calculate with the ground truth, and we get back propagation. And for the c, for the contact, we train another network to generate x from c, and we calculate loss between 
x and the ground truth. And this is the result after we using mutual information between x and c. And this is not. We can see on the left, this is the style disentanglement. After we use the mutual information in this dimension, in this space, can separate different style like positive and negative better than if we don't use the mutual information of S and C. And I concluded this contribution of this paper, which one of them are, it is no need to predefine the number of style before training. And the second one is when calculate mutual information, E define new upper bound of mutual information to help us to calculate and back propagation. And this is what this paper is all about. And after we train this module, we get an encoder, right? And we can use both S and C to calculate new output that we can change S and change C to get a different output. And this is all this paper is about. And thanks for watching this video.